so welcome back to Crispy's Projects and on this episode I am going to be trying to tart up the front end of this T5 fan because this front bumper just looks horrible so I've gone and got some fiberglass parts so we've got these little back spats that sort of sit on the back to just finish off the back bumper two of those and this big front bumper that's going on which really is fiberglass unit that goes to the bottom of this just drops the front end a little bit make it look a lot lower so that is going to sit and bond lower down i think it's going to improve the front end no doubt so the secret of getting this on is actually finding the center of that and the center of that so luckily behind the number plate there is a little central casting mark little tab in there which is central as well so i've been measuring it both with that and tape measure and i've also found the center line on here and we've got it about there so i'll just run a couple of little screws in the end and then we'll think about prepping this up and actually sticking it down because there's always going to be a little bit of flex in both items so that's just going to make it a little bit more rigid just need it to sit right and look right and look smooth there so because that's where it sort of dips in i'm going to put a screw in there that should hold it all tight not screwing that all the way down so it's actually tight because the last thing I want to do is actually crack this fiberglass because it's only a couple of mil thick now I've got it all lined up ready to go on it's time I can actually bond it on now I'm going to use a slick effects, slick effects, sick effects, 221. But the first thing I'm going to do is actually prep this bottom bit. So I'm going to use 80 grit paper. Luckily, I've got an electric sander. So I'm going to buzz all that down and then wipe over it with alcohol wipe just to clean it so it gives it a good pond. So I've just got a little bit of alcohol-based panel wipe in there just to dry it all off, give it a clean. Now I've took it down to a plastic because I know on this vehicle both the front and the rear would have had plastic bumpers originally and they've been painted over. And I've, I've also scuffed up the back ones and it's a good job because a lot of the paint where it was flaking off just where it not being sprayed properly just on the underneath or it's just not being prepped up. It reached the bottom, it hadn't adhered properly. So it didn't take much to take off, so you imagine if you're trying to bond something to that first bump, you're going to lose it. So that's all clean along there. So you also got to remember when you're scuffing it up, because I forgot up until I'd done it, you need to scuff underneath here on this particular one, because where it's bonded on, this lip actually follows it underneath. So it's got two sticking points, so both this surface and the one that's underneath. And it's worth noting with any fiberglass products that you've purchased, that they are custom made and sometimes they do need a little bit of alteration just to go to fit your vehicle now two things i've actually noticed with mine so some of these bumpers have actually either been hit or distorted a little bit from where they've been either bumped or not fitted properly in the past or God, it's it's an oldish car it's been ha hammered and the particularly the back one and this one has got distortions on it so that's another reason why i decided to opt for this so it's worth noting fit fit trial fit sometimes they need a little bit of alteration to be fair this is actually quite a good mold and it fits quite nice so remember my center line screws <laughs> screws at the ready seem to line up so i've undone everything bar the very end one and i'm working back here now these screws are screws i've put in to glue it on or should we say bond it on i've got the two screws that i'm happy and then just screw it down more or less in the middle and just get it to line up while the glue's on there and then it stay in there so it's going to be a one fit option the main thing is the bits around the edge are actually line in where they should do and these are the edges that i'm trying to work to so i want that to sit just underneath that bumper 
see where the groove is there, ever so slightly. So it's actually a white one I've got there and I've put a line of masking tape where it's going to overlap because I know it's going to squeeze out. This stuff sticks like you wouldn't believe. So we need to make sure that it sticks to masking tape and not the paint we're gonna try and do. So it's quite hard to judge how much. I'm definitely running where it touches across and then this bit here and then that bit here all the way along. So that just felt like a real rush to try and get it on because I don't know how long before this glue starts to, to sort of go off or set. So I needed to get it all lined up and on. And do you know what? I'm fairly happy with that. Central. And the main thing is I've screwed in the bottom bits there just because my bumper sort of flexed in a little bit. So I've brought that closer together so it would be st stuck together. Now I'm just going to run a little bit of panel wipe over where the glue is on the top there. And then we're going to head round to the back. So now that I've managed to get the front on, let's do these little backs. It's very hard to describe what they are. The, all it does is lower down the line of the bumper and it just finishes off nicer. So it's a dead basic design. And again, fiberglass parts made in a mould. And it does vary. A lot of the time it needs, we'll call it specialist fitting, but it does need a little bit of just adjustments to get it a bit, to be honest. I'd much rather have too much material than too little material. On this one, I have had to trim it down both sides, just that little bit. So it's more on that little section. I've had to just trim down. I've just basically aligned it up on the bottom. There's a little lip that sits behind there. And it's set against the lip. On that right here. And of course, there is a little bit of flex in this as well. So when it comes to fitting it, and of course the bumper's been off several times before looking at it, it's been painted, it's been painted quite poorly in places, or should I say poorly prepped. So a little bit's like underneath here, and behind where the, the reflectors are. You're not really bothered prepping it too much, and to be honest, why would you? Because you, you're only really, you're never going to see those little bits. It's so easily missed, isn't it? And realistically, everyone is going, how much can you do this job for? And everyone wants to lower the price, everyone wants it cheaper. And again, these are primarily going to be glued in. And if I leave the screws in, I'll leave the screws in. Don't think it makes that much difference. Right, let's get this glued on. Again, that panel wipe all across it and all across this section. They are only light components. But I just need to make sure I get really good adhesion to it. So instead of doing a thin bead, I would much prefer to do a big fat bead every so often. But because I've trial fitted it quite a few times, it does fit quite nice to be honest. These are quite good quality parts, I'm quite happy with, with the fitting on these. Next one's going to be that one because that then lines that up quite nicely. Just a little bit of a flex in there. So I actually like the way that that flows. The height of that goes quite well with the tow bar. 
So I think that's going to be quite good. That definitely, that's stuck quite a bit there. And there is a little bit of gap at the sort of there. It's very hard to judge exactly where that should sit. So I'm going to get some body fill in there, as I said. Straight away, before it being painted, before getting out in the road and actually looking at a distance, it's improved the, the style and look of the, the back end and the front end. So five glass parts are certainly the way forward. Well, I think that looks all right. I'm going to let that to settle for a good couple of days before I rework. So you find that actually looks all right. And it's really transformed the front end of it, no end, from just looking like a normal builder's van to something a little bit more blingy. Should really leave that 24 hours before doing anything with that to, to sort of set off. Depends on how thick it is to how quickly it cures. But because I'm going to fill in just the little edge with body filler, I'm going to try and leave that 48 hours, if not a little bit longer, before I do anything with the front bumper. And when I paint it, I'm going to take the front bumper off. Well, it starts raining, but it's a good chance for me to do some trick work on this bumper while it's off. So as you can see, it's, it has given it a lot more stance, and that is very, very tight. But I'm not going to take the screws out just yet. What I'm going to do, work a little bit just on the underside that I couldn't get, just to fill up any gaps. I'm going to be able to get this tape off. So, I am happy I put this tape on because bits of it has actually stuck on. I could have made it a lot more messy. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to put a little bit of body fill just in this gap, just to fill in the gap, try and smooth it off. Because it's going to be quite thick, I'm going to do that first to give it plenty of time to go off. And when it comes to sanding, I'm just going to have to be careful how I blend it in here, but not taking too much of the fiberglass off. So I've left that just over 48 hours and I'd say that's pretty bottle solid. So you can sort of see where I've filled in the lines. I've just gone a little bit proud. So what I'm gonna do is run an 80 grit all the way over it with the orbit sander. There, I'm gonna scuff up some of the other bits, but I'm gonna spend extra attention just on these edges because I don't know how well the front bumper was primed. It is just a slightly different shade. You see it just chipping on the edges, so I need to make sure they're right, so I'm going to sand down those bits. Not spend too much, I'm not going to take it right back to plastic, because it's fairly well adhered to. I'm going to spend more time around these bits, so I'm going to keep changing the 80 grit as I'm running all the way through. You can see it's a lot better finish there. It probably looks all right on camera, but this just dips a little bit, so I'm going to put a little thin bit of filler across there and on the other side, and just on one little area here. Before I put that on, I've got to make sure that it's fairly dust free and just put a little bit of panel wipe on there. through a few little bits of plastic that I've actually scuffed up with a plastic primer. This is a translucent sort of film that sits over the top and helps it stop reacting and helps it bond. I don't actually know what it does but it works. So I'm just going to put a couple of little thin coats just here and there and also round these little bits here that I've scuffed up more or less with the inserts and the spoilers and the, the panels just sort of sit in. I'm going to spend more time just going over the filler because the filler sucks the primer in and absorbs it. So a couple of thin coats on there and then I'll go for a heavy coat.
And you can see particularly there and there you can see it's just a little bit pitted so I've just built it up a little bit hopefully trying to fill it up but we'll leave that to dry but we might as well cover the whole lot We can see on this back bumper I've done the same sort of thing so there's a little bit of filler in there that's all dry I'm also going to build that up as well and then paint the whole back bumper it's confession time I've gone and lost all the footage from painting the front bumper I've got absolutely no idea where it's gone so please forgive me now that was going to be the most exciting bit for me because I'm not much of a painter but I've used a professional style paint gun painted it off the van left it overnight so, so I'll be able to show you the finished article at least I'm so sorry so if you think I'm a silly sausage leave me a comment down below either dislike the video or like the video and if you're not already a subscriber consider subscribing it's something free that you can do and it really means a lot to the channel We've gone over the magic thousand subscribers, which is excellent. So confession number two here, I've also lost the footage of taking it down the body shop at the same time. So I've left it down at the body shop and we're ready to get painted. So we're gonna wrap it up around there, but hopefully in the next episode, the van's gonna be back painted. And in the next episode, we're probably either gonna be fitting the bumper back or doing some rectification work on the paintwork because I've asked them to leave runs, orange peel in, just to also get it a lot cheaper for me. But thanks very much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Ta-da!